Hello everyone and welcome back to the Key Productive YouTube channel. On today's feature, I am going to be talking to you guys about a few of the changes to the workspace abilities of Notion. In this video, we'll be covering the new search, public page indexing, and a fresh off the blocks new feature, which is page duplication, also known as templates. So let's start with the search. On all new public pages, you'll see search, and this is a useful way when searching through any document or page for a specific keyword or even area you'd like to find. For example, in this Blendle handbook, you can go ahead and find the thing you're looking for, in this case, information about time off policies. Next up, public pages on Google Search. Not everyone wants to share their public link in Google Search and have it to be indexed. Some people do, but for the sake of getting work done and sharing it with, for example, a client, the new public page changes allow you to select whether or not you'd like to index it in Google searches or not. This is perfect for sharing privately or in a thread in an email without committing to having it read by the whole world. And finally, the brand new duplication ability. This is a fresh feature allowing users to copy a public Notion page. So for example, let's say I wanted to save the duplication. I can duplicate this page into my own workspace. You can choose the workspace and it's that simple. You need to move it from your private area into the right area. For example, if you want to put it in a shared workspace, you can do. So you can duplicate any page it allows you to and you can actually switch this on or off. I've actually included a page that you can test this with, which is my daily agenda view, which I'm currently testing out at the moment as a way to set my day-to-day -day focuses. When sharing public pages, you can opt in or out of the duplication as well as the Google search indexing. The optionality is smashing. Camille from the Notion team actually showed me this one in person, which made the update even more exciting. So definitely check out the demo page below. Finally, just before we go, there is Notion templates now. So you can go to notion.so slash templates, where you'll find everything from a daily planner to a video game tracker that you can duplicate into your, your workspace area. And remember, Notion are always updating routinely. So do check out the What's New page for more information. And don't be afraid to reach out to me directly with your Notion related questions. You can also become a subscriber of Keep Productive Today, but it was great to have you here. So I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Thank you very much, guys.